Hello everyone. So welcome to TV Dravi. In this session, let us go through some of the updates from the Atlassian uh, ecosystem. And this week, there are actually <clears throat> quite a lot of updates. Not really a lot, but still, uh, there are some significant updates. And as always, I will try to limit this session, this video, this podcast within 15 minutes, so that you can have your tea, morning tea, and of course, you know you can learn about. Uh, these wonderful updates now the first update is about uh, the hackathon now atlassian organizes this uh, they run this annual hackathon and uh, each year they have a theme <clears throat> and this year's theme is uh, about uh, atlassian intelligence so yes uh, we all know and we are all aware of uh, virtual agent and uh, ai based you know improvements in uh, JSM i'm of course you now trying to learn more about it i mean of course you know when when these features are released for everyone we will of course be you know using it but uh, as a consultant my responsibility my job <clears throat> and uh, also i want to make sure that i also know how these things work so this year's theme is about uh, ai and uh, if you are a developer if you are uh, working for a company and you have some time or if your company allows you then i highly recommend you to of course participate uh in this hackathon and the app that you will have to build of course uh, the focus is around ai and also atlassian forge we have been building atlassian forge based app unfortunately we won't be taking part in uh, this hackathon because we hardly get time <laughs> which is again a good thing for us but uh, when you have to build something and when you have to participate in such hackathons you can actually learn a lot so if it is possible for you to you know find some time from your schedule then i think you should and of course you know there are a uh, lot of benefits you will learn about these things it is always fun to build something at the same time uh, there are some cash prizes and i think if you are building something whether you win or not you can always you know convert that idea into an actual app i know a lot of these apps or a lot of popular apps were actually started as uh, as uh, such hackathons so do take a look at this uh, hackathon code jest unleashed 2023 from uh, atlassian the next update is again on the lines of uh, virtual agent and atlassian intelligence for of course jira service management now from time to time atlassian and i believe their product managers or maybe their marketing team or someone from atlassian will organize some kind of a session they call it as uh, atlassian ask me anything so ama so if you are thinking of using virtual agent and uh, atlassian intelligence for jsm maybe you just want to learn about it maybe you are considering maybe you have more questions or maybe you are just curious i think you should definitely consider participating in this uh, ama the next ama for uh, ai for jsm is happening on 11th of october i will definitely try if i can uh, attend but uh, i believe it is like a win win situation for both you guys because you have something to learn at the same time you can uh, see whether these updates will potentially help you if you are a customer or maybe you are just a customer but it is also very important for atlassian i guess because they learn about these things uh, by talking to their potential customers for example if i join this session i'll probably ask something about how i can potentially use it and that particular question or feedback whatever will definitely help atlassian so i think wherever possible we should try to give feedback to atlassian and i think uh, this ama session would be would be definitely super useful uh, again the next update is about jsm so i know and i'm quite happy that uh, there are significant updates improvements additions to jira service management of course virtual agent artificial intelligence but this time the update is about uh, SLA goals. So, to explain how this 
update will help you. So it is about increased SLA goal capacity in projects. So when you create different goals in your SLAs, basically you are using as like JQL. And let us say you have five different goals with different uh, JQLs. And let us say you are using priority. Priority is equal to high, then the goal is two hours. Priority is equal to, you know, medium, then the goal is probably 20 hours, whatever. So the thing is that what, what can happen after this uh, update when it goes live, I, I guess eventually, because right now it is still earlier access program. And I think Atlassian is probably inviting maybe few people or few, few customers. And uh, I, I guess only 15, but I, it is good to know that this is coming up. So basically what will happen, you will be able to, I, I watched the video, by the way, there is also a video on this page. So you will be, ba you will be able to basically group your uh, different goals based on priority. So basically, if you have like five different JQLs with priority, high, medium, low, whatever, you, it will, you can actually group it by priority. So pr you can just say in your goal that priority is equal to this and rest of the JQL will, will probably s stay the same. And I guess this in a way will help you reduce uh, the number of goals. Basically, you can have more goals eventually. So this is really good. Again, it is not like groundbreak, like extraordinary update, but these small things, these small improvements uh, are really important because we as a customer, as a consultant, uh, we can actually support our use cases or basically in this case, we, because we are talking about uh, SLA goals and it is important to have SLA goals because that is why people use Jira service management. Uh, and I think this update will definitely help a lot of, lot of customers if you have a lot of goals, especially in uh, big organizations. The next update is about Atlassian Analytics. Now, this is something which I'm not massively happy about, not the update, but Atlassian Analytics in general. Now, for some reason, I never really got access to any Atlassian analytics uh, to, to basically play with it because I am a consultant. I, of course, manage few Jira instances for my customers, but I believe Atlassian Analytics is only limited to, uh, to enterprise, which I, I think it is probably wrong because Jira reporting is although it is good, but it is substandard. If you know what I mean, you, we always have to rely on something like EVBI or, you know, some other app. For example, we do at Sparks, if we do a lot of work around uh, reporting apart from of course script no? but reporting is also one of our like niche or uh, expertise and uh, reporting is always uh, needed because people want to know what is happening and people re rely on those reports i know that if you don't really have useful up-to-date data in jira then reports will not really help but at the same time when we roll out jira for new customers we try of course on we, we try to make sure that people are able to use the tool. The adoption is very important, but at the same time, because Jira in a way also uh, management or uh, people who are responsible for signing the check, they want to know what is happening. And reporting has, I mean, reporting is and has always been and it will always be uh, an important aspect. Now, when it comes to Atlassian Analytics, although I don't have, have access, so I can't really give you my feedback on how, they, how, how it will work, but Basically, what you can do by by reading this, by the way, I, I do like read these things, you will be able to bring in data from Google Sheets and then use it along with your Jira data. And this is something that, that we do actually with EZBI. So using EZBI, you can, of course, report on data from Jira, but you can also report from uh, a data that you can import using REST API, which is again a bit of a pain, but it works if you know what you're doing. And, and in most cases, what we do, we normally just uh, use a Google app script to pull data from somewhere, somewhere, and then uh, update the sheet. And that sheet is imported in uh, EZBI. Just to give you some example, let us say you're building some financial reports. Now, when you're building some financial reports, your Jira data would be basically the amount of time that you log, right? Or maybe the original estimate field. Now you want to maybe bring in rates from Tempo, or you may want to bring rates from some other tool. So you can do that with EZBI. Again, it is not uh, it, it is not obvious, it is not straightforward, not everyone can do it. And of course, that is where you know, we as a consultant can help. But uh, the idea is that EZBI can report and uh, you can actually combine data from multiple sources. It is, uh, it, it works if you know what you're doing. So there are some limitations, but it, it, it kind of works. And I guess you can do something similar using Google Sheets uh, connector, I guess, whatever it is. I don't know how it works, but basically you will be able to bring in data from Google Sheets. And of course, you know, 
hopefully in future few other tools and again i haven't really tried I, i've seen how google not google but atlassian An analytics works but i need to you know try it i'm looking forward to try it hopefully soon maybe in six months or six years who knows all right the last thing is of course video of the week and this time i want to talk about this video which i made i think uh, yesterday or day before yesterday basically the idea is that you can it is possible and it is very easy to show all the issues including subtask within an epic and those issues and subtask could be from multiple projects so it is actually very simple you just need to use jql but not many people know how to do it and uh, in this video i, I explained I, and i also explained how you can uh, create like a consolidated board so once you have built this jql which is showing everything from uh, let us say those epics or epic then you can use that information somewhere on the board and uh, you can actually because in the on the on the on the on the, on the board you can actually have like a subtask as well hope now of course so this is this is good because uh, you as a manager maybe you want to know what is happening in uh, my epic but if you're using or if you're relying on the timeline view of jira software then unfortunately timeline view is only going to show you what is happening within that particular project it won't really show you stories from other projects because that can happen that actually use, usually happens because one epic can have multiple stories from multiple projects but using a simple jql you can actually first build this jql or a filter and then you can use the filter to build a report or i should say a consolidated kanban board so it is of course uh not really the ultimate solution but it is a solution and i explained this in this video and that is it i today i covered everything in uh, 12ish minutes and uh, i hope you enjoyed watching to this uh, atlassian updates video and uh, you also learned something and by the way this video is also a podcast so if you go to spotify or google podcast you will find uh, these weekly sessions so you can actually listen to these sessions when you're traveling or maybe when you're having your tea all right that is it that is it for today's session i hope you enjoyed watching this video and podcast listening to to this podcast and you also learned something new thank you very much bye bye